Napper Fertility Care is an advanced scientific approach to infertility and recurrent miscarriage. Our aim is to find the problem and fix it. We open a window to understanding fertility that no other approach offers. We can treat nearly every category of infertility, including reduced ovarian reserve, male factor infertility, polycystic ovaries, endometriosis, just to name a few. So the age range for NAPRA fertility care for women is up to and including 42, although we have had some success beyond that age. If we um, have a couple who are told they've had all their investigations, uh, there's nothing further that can be done, frequently with NAPRA fertility care we may find an underlying cause that may not have been detected before and treatment could prove successful. Over four and a half years, um, I had six miscarriages in total. I attended so many different doctors and clinics and hospitals and I had so much testing done, but I was never given a clear diagnosis on what my problem was. Eventually, I made my way to, to NAPRO um, and luckily I ended up having my son. Well, we've been trying to get pregnant for two years. I kind of met the doctors in January 2012. They discovered that I had numerous problems including um, low progesterone, high estrogen, um, low AMH, thyroid antibodies and hyperthyroidism. And uh, following surgery, um, I discovered I had endometriosis and uh, receptor in my womb. So following those surgeries and all like rectification of my problems um, and my issues, I got pregnant. Um, it was about 18 months after start NAPRO. We went to the GP and made an appointment with the GP um, who sent me to the Lourdes Hospital um, and they decided to do a laparoscopy then. So we were eventually called for that um, after about 12 months. Um, they found out then that my left tube was blocked. Um, they told me that there was nothing more that they could do for me. October then was my appointment with NAPRO where they told me that the block tube wasn't an issue at all. After three years of trying um, to conceive, um, we were with NAPRO for about four months um, and we conceived naturally after that. What makes us different from other fertility treatments is we often find multiple factors that contribute to subfertility and we frequently look for things that aren't detected in routine testing. NAPRO fertility care is surprisingly inexpensive compared to other fertility treatments while our results are comparable and often superior. At the other clinics I always felt like I wasn't really a person, I was a client or a patient attending the clinics. There was never a feeling of having a personal relationship and when I went to NAPRO from the first person who greeted me at the front desk to the doctors I really felt welcomed and I felt like they cared and they wanted to help me have a baby. They genuinely really wanted it for me. I was never excluded at any point and where I had such a knowledge, uh, I was there able to support Anya. The pregnancy itself went very well. Um, I was a nervous wreck. I was so worried about the pregnancy. I didn't want to tell anybody about it. I didn't want to jinx it. I didn't want to buy anything in the house. But with every phone call I made to NAPRO, they reassured me that everything was going to be okay. I would definitely recommend NAPRO to anyone struggling with fertility problems or, like myself, recurrent miscarriage. The success rate with NAPRO fertility care is 50% for your average couple. If you've previously tried IVF, we would expect a success rate of 30%, and if you have multiple repeated miscarriages, up to 80% of couples can achieve success. You're involved in each step, and that's something that I find incredibly refreshing, as opposed to being sent away with a bundle of prescriptions. I would say to anybody who's trying for a baby, let it be for a long period or a short period of time, go to NAPRO. You know, you weren't just a number on a list waiting to be seen. Um, they were excellent, I mean, there was no comparison between them and, and, and the other avenues that we had started to explore. They were just, they were brilliant from start to finish, yeah. 